Well, you guys, we're going to get this trailer together, man. It's like I said, I got the fiberglass going up all the way around, but it's going to be to where we can open it up. You know what I mean? This is the serving side. Over here is the cook side. And all that good smoke come out. You know, everybody smell that good old smell of that smoked cabbage and that smoke turkey legs, all that good stuff, man. Ah! So, man, let's, let's go back here. Hold on. I'm forgetting something. Where's my little friend at? There you go. There you go. It's the highlight. Beauty! So, you guys, that's some refreshing. I'm an old school, man. Give me an old 40. I'm cool. I don't need a whole case. This will do me. So, there goes Smokey Robinson we was working on yesterday, you guys. Uh, like I said, I can just stand right here and pull this out right here and toss my meat and turn it back in there. Just like that, man. But, today, you guys, you guys see this oil. My buddy Fox brought this over about two weeks and gave me some old mortar oil, man. Now, you can use it for two things, killing trees or rubbing on a dog and killing mangs. So, you guys, this is for killing trees. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to drill down in these trees over here. They call them honey cycle trees. Honey cycles. That's what my brother said, honey cycles. But I'm trying to kill them. So I got to cut them and drill a hole down in there. And pull some oil down there to kill them. Yes, indeed. So that's what I'm working on. All these trees right here, honey cycle trees. These trees right here, honey cycle. I need to cut them and put oil down there and kill them. So check this out. This is a big boy right here. Honey cycle. Got to cut it and drill a hole and put some oil down there. I never knew how to kill a tree until... Uh, uh, my buddy Fox showed me what to do. I need a stump grinder for that. So, I ain't killing none over that way. I'll be everything tightened up. Can't do that. So, all right, you guys. Go Toto. He's always around. But, most of them trees over there is honeysuckle trees. I want to show you guys something else. But, for anybody tuning in, this is your boy, Chef Velo, back with another banging video today, you guys. And uh, let's say tomorrow, might take the day off, but Sunday will be Soul Food Sunday. We're doing deep fried Cajun baby back ribs. We're going to do a good old pasta salad to go with that, mac and cheese, candy yams, and cornbread. We got that tuning in on Soul Food Sunday, so tune in for that. Tomorrow, you might catch me fishing with my Uncle JD, the one we was with on Father's Day. He's telling us to come back down there. So we might do another video at another lake that he called the swamp. He said, I'm going to take you to the swamp. Well, take me there. He said, they got beavers in there bigger than me. If they do, I'm not going in there. You know what I mean? So, you guys, those are honey cycle trees. I done cut this down before and grew, it's growing back. But I did not put no oil in it, so this time I'll put some oil in it, man. My phone looking kind of blurry, too, man. But anyway, got a lot of honey cycle trees that I have cut, and they have grown back. So, if any of you guys can leave me a comment, what's the best thing to do with these honey cycle trees? Someone said, cut them. My buddy Fox was like, cut them. We're going to put some oil in them, and we're going to kill them. So I said, okay, so we'll do that. So I got one right here. One right there, one right there. And they all behind the garage. They all behind the garage. Look at that. And they coming over my garage. I don't like that, man. But look, this house might be for sale in a minute because I'm trying to get home. Me and my wife been thinking about it for the last three years of moving back home. She came up in Indianapolis in 92. I came up here in 90. That's crazy how we met. We met in high school. She was from Miss Memphis, and I was from Mississippi. So, you know, hey, love and first sight, we connected. We was from down that way. We understood each other. You know what I mean? So now we're about to go home. We made a family. We're going home. And then we're going home. 43 years old, you guys. 
I've been here ever since I was 12. It's time to go home. So, anyway, we're going to finish that roof off. But... You can't have none. That's a bolo back there. Holler. Give me some. Give me some, Dad. No. Nope. My beer. So. It's like a little jungle back here, you guys. So all these honeysuckle trees must get rid of them. And that's what I'm going to do. Get rid of them. Well, you guys see my little forest back here I got. My little flower bed. And I got to put mulch over there. I got to put mulch all the way around here. And I got to get the, the bad ones out like this. I gotta cut them out of there. Get them out. This is a tree. We ain't cutting that. But all this, we're gonna grind this up real good. Me and my wife gonna get out here probably this weekend. Put some mulch out here. Ah, we're gonna do the yard up. One more last time before we leave. I'm telling you guys, I'm working. I'm ready. Leave the city, go back home to the south where I belong, where my homeland, where all my things I love to do and get free and hunt. And wake up at five o'clock in the morning. I got eggs and grits cooking. And about every house that I know I go to, they cooking. Or they cooking at night. Man, it's just a beautiful thing, man. I have a big family, man. And we the Moores family. Just in case you guys don't know, my last name is Moore. Got Moores, Coleman's, Tuckers, Johnson's, Halls, Anderson's, Pinkins. No, nah, Perkins. Perkins. All in my family. We all originated from Chevy, Mississippi, Clarksdale, Mississippi, some of us down there in Greenville, Mississippi. We all up through Memphis, crossover Memphis. We in Little Rock. You know what I mean? And all I got my uncle is best friends with Morgan Freeman. His name is Super Chicken. Google him on YouTube, Instagram, all that. He's saying the blues. And he he sounds like a chicken, man. For real. <laughs> That's my uncle. James, Super Chicken. They call him Super Chicken. R.I.P. for my oldest uncle. They call him Big Jack the Oil Man. He sang the blues. He got his name from, he was driving oil trucks for about 30 years. And they call him Big Jack the Oil Man. Yep. So, man, look at this little forest. He got a forest, a jungle over there. I don't know. I try to keep my stuff together. But I got wild stuff growing from his side and to my side. Proof coming through the fence. So, you know what I mean? You got to get that stuff under control. So... Mm. And then you guys, he got his trees growing on my line. So something happened to my cable or my internet and everything. I know who goes see. You know? Man, look, it's getting dark out here. They like to speed up and down the street too. So got more honeysuckle trees. This is honeysuckle tree right here. I didn't cut. It's, no, this is not a honeysuckle tree. This is a big honeysuckle tree. Right here. This thing's been here for 100 years probably. Look. Look at this. And it's big. And it's going to get cut down. Because the honeysuckle trees get out of control, man. They don't know when to stop growing. See, off the main street. Off the main street. Main street. Main street. So. <sighs> Honey cycle trees, man. Thanks for tuning in with your boy Chef Fellow. I see my subscribers going up, my views going up. I really appreciate you guys for subscribing to the channel. Hey man, I'll be trying to if it's up to me, I'll be trying to be in the kitchen every day. But I have other things to show you guys, like the food trailer, the smoker, the chicken coop, and also my family, man. I want to introduce my family to you guys too sometime. But they kind of scared of the camera, so I understand that. They're not ready for you. My wife is saying. I'm ready. She was feeling good that night. We went out. She was feeling real good. She was like, I'm going to tell him to subscribe. Go for it. Take it. And then she's like, she shut down. So, oh, well, I love the camera. You guys know I do. And it's banger. So, that's what I do. But I'm out here looking around the yard. Just got done putting the roof on top of the food trailer. 